I'm the director, the choreographer, and uh, yeah, the, the leader of UNCB, and I'm also the one who is creating. So I have come here and was just simply invited to give a workshop to professional dancers, what they name professional dancers in Uganda, about child soldiers. So I have come here, I've gone first to the north in Uganda to meet the former child soldiers, and then I've made the production. And when I've started to work here, I found the dancers I was dreaming to have. I was, at the time I was dancing with the, the dance company here at the National Theatre, so they selected, they were selecting four dancers from every dance company, and I happened to be in one of the dance companies. So that is how I managed to get involved with the project. <laughs> the beginning it was hard because uh, I was doing hip hop and r and I, was, uh, I wasn't doing contemporary dance. I had no idea what contemporary dance was. So all of a sudden uh, they're telling us, okay guys, you're going to be members of child soldiers, you're going to be advocating for child soldiers and uh, you had to tell a story while you were dancing, you had to tell a story. Uh, the president of Germany has invited us on tour in Germany. And then all of a sudden they're telling us, uh, guys, on this date, get your, your passports, we get the visa, we're traveling to Germany. I was like, wow, nice. It's more than just a production, it's really advocating for the child soldiers. So that piece is really something, every time we perform it, we really move the audience, they stay, they don't move. There is a total silence during the whole piece, and you really feel them uh, totally taken in our game, because we want really to them to move the audience. Uh, when we have performed in Germany, it was very good, but the level of the dancer, they had no technique, what is very often Dancers in Africa, they are very talented, but many of them don't have any technique. And what I have heard after that, many people, professional, what they it's very good, choreography, very good, but the dancers, the African, we see they don't have any technique, the level is down. And then I've said to myself that I don't want to hear anymore, so then I've decided to stay there, to bring the technique, that when we travel again, we don't hear that anymore. kind of dance style before so it was challenging having to get to the different body postures and the straight back the feet oh my feet hurt the first day I was like I went home limping so I was yeah I was like should I really go back I was like feeling a lot of pain and but I I think it was there was something different about it that kept me coming back for rehearsals. It was a little bit strange for me at first because everyone was older and they were good and they were very serious and professional so I had to learn. Yeah, because I came when I really don't know much but now I have learned a little bit and I think I'm still to learn. For the first time I performed a solo, it wasn't so good I wouldn't say. <laughs> but the confidence I got from, from the team the way they inspired me to move and, and do it more and more. That was my best memory. That they pushed me to be good. At the beginning it was for some of them very difficult. And uh, now they start to understand that there is other way of dancing. which is. Yeah. 
so dance for the professional side of contemporary dance and ballet is growing in our country. You can all get the same song and you can do a hip hop routine and have a contemporary routine but they're all going to be two different things. Difficult uh, situation to work. Uh, you see a floor where we can have accident, um, the dirtiness, which makes that we get, uh, yeah, very often some infection and all this stuff. And uh, yeah, the, the, we don't have the technical. Uh, how does the technique we would need for really having a, like, a show which is really potent value? and the finances because we come and work every day because to have the level of these dancers we have to work every day but the finances are always very difficult to find and the support is uh, little we have a very great patron our patron is Mr. John Naganda senior advisor and the president uh, and he tries always his best but it's more and more difficult to find to find some money for, for us so that's always a challenge when you bring like I'm going to bring this time very contemporary production uh, the audience, the, you, the, the expat, there is no problem, but the Ugandans, they start, uh, yeah, but I'm not understood. Because they want to, uh, a story very simple that they understand from A, B, stage, and, uh, uh, but it's, it's like that. I can't just do production only for them because at the end I'm tired, I want to do a bit more. I want to confront my dancers to things which are new for them and I don't want to let them do always the same. And in the same time, I, I create with my dancers, I have really a lot of fun. I I'm never feel betrayed with them. I create and what I do, they understand, you have seen, they understand very fast. And uh, I, I challenge them permanently because I never bring the same production. Every time it's a new production with new new way, new concept, new way of working, which is sometimes making them a bit, especially that piece, because it's very contemporary. Uh, but I can't do it. And uh, they are very powerful, and they are very emotional, and that's what I need. And they are not just with the intellect, like the European are when you dance with them. But I want to be like a very good professional dancer and inspire young girls, African, African girls. Every time we start something, you can feel it. When, you start, when we start a piece, you feel that this is going to be something that is going to be recognized worldwide. It, it, it releases me, it releases. I become someone else. I become the real person. Someone I don't usually shit because I use my heart so. When my heart is moving on the floor, people, they realize, you have to be very sharp because you may not even realize that, now that's me. Feel the zeal to express my emotions. Yeah, you, are, you are inside me, me. That I learned, the things that, from the things that I learned from, from the new career that I have seen from Mary. So when I'm on stage, I feel I'm ready to communicate to people. I feel proud of myself. I'm proud of myself because I've worked hard and I'm still pushing. There is no time when I say I'm done. I keep pushing every single day, every single day. As a team, we work together. Yeah, we work together. So we have the communication that keeps us, you keep on like as in just working as a team. So you keep the energy.
proud of them. I'm proud of Valerie. I'm proud of every person who has come in and has gone. I'm proud of them. Yeah, they they inspired me and they motivated me. Yes. I really want it, and I don't want to stay home. I just and just watch anything. I just want to go and be practical. I just want us to show the world what we have. That is what I dream, travel the world, show them what we have. Like a tour for even five years if possible with the uh, Kadogos because we have a masterpiece, Kadogos. And every time we're trying to get out there and show that piece, it's a masterpiece, but we never get a chance. So for me, that would be my dream, that would be my dream.